Rockford Chimney Supply presents installing a Class A double wall insulated chimney pipe for a flat ceiling. We will first start by locating the center point where the chimney pipe will penetrate the ceiling. Once the center point is found, use the ceiling support box to mark the ceiling to make your cut. A sawzall is the best tool to use to cut the opening in the ceiling. The ceiling support box will come with two brackets to mount to the ceiling joists. From the attic, slide the ceiling support box through the opening and attach the ceiling support box to the ceiling joist. Now that we have penetrated through the ceiling, we next have to mark the hole to penetrate the roof. By sliding a section of single wall stove pipe with a level, you are now able to mark where you will cut your hole through your roof. Running a screw through the roof deck will make it easy to identify where you will need to cut your hole on the roof side. Take your adjustable roof flashing and center that on the screw you ran through the roof deck. An easy way to mark the hole you need to cut is by using the flashing as a stencil and spray painting the inside of the roof shingles. Once the hole is marked, use your sawzall and cut the hole through the roof. In order for the flashing to slide underneath the shingles, you must cut the nails on the top half of the circle. With tin snips, cut the shingles two inches back on the top half of the circle. Next, apply a healthy amount of silicone to the bottom side of the adjustable roof flashing. Then slide the adjustable flashing underneath the top half of the shingles. You will then screw the roof flashing to the roof deck. Then make sure to silicone all of the screw heads. Now it's time to start putting our Class A insulated pipe together. Locate the end of the pipe which has the insulation recessed down. This will be the male end of the pipe. To make the transition from insulated chimney pipe to single wall stove pipe, a universal pipe adapter will be needed. Insert the pipe adapter on the male end of the chimney pipe. With the screws provided, attach the universal male adapter to the chimney pipe. When you have the universal adapter connected, lower the first section of the chimney pipe through the flashing and through the support box. While you are still on the roof, attach the storm collar to the chimney pipe. Make sure to put a bead of silicone around the storm collar where it meets the chimney pipe. The chimney pipe must protrude through the roof a minimum of 2 feet and it must be at least 10 feet away from the roof line. Next, using a 5 16 nut driver, attach the rain cap to the chimney pipe. Now we are completed on the roof and it's time to connect the single wall stove pipe to the chimney pipe. For the easiest installation, we elected to use a telescoping chimney pipe. Attach the female end of the stove pipe to the male end of the universal adapter. You can use a level to make sure that your stove pipe is straight. The last step is to put the trim collar around the ceiling support box. With the screws provided, anchor it to the ceiling. Congratulations! We have just completed the installation of a Class A double wall insulated chimney pipe. If you have any questions or need assistance in ordering the supplies, feel free to give us a call at our toll free number 866 7082446 Thank you for joining us from all of us here at Rockford Chimney Supply thank you and have a great day